Caracas, Venezuela The governing party of President Nicolas Maduro was dominating municipal elections across Venezuela late Sunday, winning nearly all major cities, according to early results, and further consolidating MR. Maduro's power as the country enters a presidential election year. Candidates of MR Maduro's United Socialist Party of Venezuela took the mayoralties in all but one of more than 40 principal municipalities, according to the national election authorities. MR Maduro, in a rambunctious, rambling address in the capital's Bolivar Plaza, declared that the final count would show that his party had won more than 300 of the 335 seats being contested. We have obtained a big victory, he exclaimed. A popular, democratic, free, sovereign victory of an independent country. The breadth of the apparent sweep by MR. Maduro's party should not have surprised anyone, after the unexpected defeat of most of its candidates in regional elections in October, a broad but fractious alliance of opposition parties announced that it was boycotting the municipal contests to protest what it called a rigged, corrupt electoral system that favored the president and his party. Should the official vote count confirm MR? Maduro's predictions of a landslide victory, his party would own nearly the entire electoral landscape of Venezuela, including nearly all governorships and the all-powerful Constituent Assembly, the lawmaking body that MR. Maduro created over the summer while neutering the opposition-controlled National Assembly. MR Maduro is expected to run for a second term in presidential elections planned for next year. Earlier in the day, after casting his vote, MR Maduro threatened to ban from future elections those political parties that participated in the boycott. They will disappear from the political map, he declared. The elections on Sunday unfolded against a backdrop of economic misery in Venezuela. According to statistics published last week by the National Assembly, inflation in November was nearly 57% above the 50% mark that is commonly regarded as the threshold of hyperinflation. Profound shortages of food and medicine, the scarcity of cash and a general breakdown of public services continue to worsen by the day, driving a surge of emigration. Opposition leaders argued that participation in Sunday's voting would have served only to legitimize MR. Maduro's administration, which they and some foreign governments have called a dictatorship. Despite the call for a boycott, an array of opposition candidates ran across the country, most as independents. Untethered from their parties and from the scaffolding of support and money that such relationships bring many of their campaigns barely registered with potential voters, providing little threat to the government-backed candidates of the United Socialist Party. I don't know who any of the opposition candidates are, said Jesus Gomez, 37, the chief of security for a supermarket chain, who was on his way to vote on Sunday in Akamari del Tai, a city south of Caracas, the capital. All he was sure of was that he would vote an expression of his rights, he said and that he would cast his ballot against the Maduro government, even if he suspected that the electoral process would be riddled with fraud.